welcome all to Mr. Barry Paitling, to the Barry Paitling Sports Show. And welcome to you, Colin Sutcliffe, and all my viewers in the interstate and all around the world. Uh, it's not a bad sort of a day today, about 11 degrees. Yeah, very, very nice day today. Not a, not a short day, but it's not a bad day. Fresh. Not a bad day. Before we get into the game of the round, um, Peatling, Morgan Star and Rupp win. Tell us about that. So the headline was uh, Colin Sutcliffe. Yeah, Pretty that's good. That's right. Kicked seven goals that day, and Ian Morgan kicked six. We kicked 19 goals five that day, and I had about uh, 32 kicks and about eight nine marks. I'm not bad, but. Yeah, got got three votes seven, seven, goal, seven, seven goals. Seven goals straight. Only. And three votes about Peatling. B. Peatling. Three votes. Look at that kick in 19 goals five. That's the score we kicked in the grand final, would you believe? 19 goal, five. 19 five. So that's the, a, the same year. That's one of your um, favourite. It's one of your favourite results. Well, I mean, that's. I kicked eight goals a couple of times, but that was. I mean, uh, that was the last home and away game of the season. That's when I finished up. With 60 goals in the season, Colin. You finished... That record, the 60 goals is still a record for the Wimmera League for a Rover. Still stands for 50 years. Still the record. It is still a record, yeah. Very good. I mean, the amount of goals is still a record, too. Yeah. 60 goals. That's pretty good. So I think it was a pretty good headline, too, for Mr Barry Boyce. A fair headline. Fair? Kill people kill for them headlines, Colin. <laughs> Chelsea versus Edie Chelsea, Aspen. yeah. Well, a bit of the same old story, Colin. We started off right, uh, reasonably well. Kicked a couple of goals in the first quarter, but uh, of course, Toddy Carter was starting brilliantly as usual. Give us uh, the um, weather and the ground. Oh, I think you're yeah. yes. You've jumped ahead of yourself, yeah. A little bit. Well, it was a pretty good day for football. There was no uh, no rain. Yeah. Cold. Three or four wind uh, advantage down to Catherine, Catherine Avenue. Uh, 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 Catherine, Catherine, Catherine Avenue goal. It was three goal advantage, but. Uh, but that wasn't a big part of the game. On a Sunday? On a, on a church day, yeah, I can't believe it. Mm. They've been doing it for the last 15 years or Sunday. I don't know what how Sunday games come. Crazy. Well, in the crowd, any good? Pretty good crowd, yeah. Not bad, okay. Probably well, second last, aren't we? Yeah, for a second last. Maybe, maybe they came to see EDS. EDS is mm. uh, second on the ladder, aren't they? Yep. No, but, uh, yeah, sorry, good jump ahead before, but uh, yes, yeah, we, right. we started off pretty well. Yeah. Toddy Gard had 10 in possession in the first quarter. Yeah. Uh, Just uh, go through the changes before you. Any well, changes? Yeah, that's right, there was four changes. Out was Matty Gard, and I cannot believe he was dropped. Mm hmm. Lionwood was dropped too. Yeah. Well, then he went all right. Rory Lancaster and Matty Shaw done a hamstring. So, a couple of surprises. And in comes Rory Gregg, who was a. 100th game? It was, yeah. I didn't realise until after the game. Where'd you see that? On the screen there. Yeah, I, so I pay attention. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just to contact him. Ryan Dye, who came in and done a fair sort of a job, and Kasparitz. But I just forget who the other one could come out, but was, that's no big deal. Yeah. But Roy Gregg has... Uh, Stalwart. ...come back in and play all right, too. Uh, just get into the first half now, Barry. Yeah, so it went very... It must be getting a bit excited, getting ahead of myself today. But mm. we started off not too bad. The Toddy Gars was there, 10 possession in the first quarter, and... Uh, 2-2 two, two was smashing the packs, and, but this guy, Gareth, Garth, yeah. did three goals in the first quarter. Had Joel Connolly on in the first quarter, but he, he finished up going off, and uh, Rory Reid went in for a couple of times, but uh, he's, uh, so the, the half-time score was Chelsea, three, Chelsea. three goals, one, to EDS, 8-7. Yep, that's about that's right. Not a bad, not a good start for Chelsea, but anyway, but the other top side, we but we've got a very ordinary side, Colin. We're yeah. we we really lucky. As long as we can beat them, mate, we're not doing much of that. We're a second team, apart from well, two or three players. Well, we got Travis Graham's out again. He's one of our stars. Yeah. Anyway, the second half. The second half. Get into the second half. We only kicked three goals after half time again, Colin. And they've kicked nine, nine thirteen. There's something... We just stopped running. But Daniel Arsman, he was very quiet in the first half. Yeah. Right? One man from a lot of quiet. He had about five percent in the first half, but the second yeah. half he stood up. And he's a uh, he's a very classy fellow, and uh, kicked, took oh, to save it, but something about the mark of day too later. But he kicked a beautiful goal, kicked, took a mark, and took a kicked a fifty metre goal in the centre half forward. He's on. been quietly coming along, Arsman. Oh, he, he was. I think this, the, the words got around that he was uh, can play and had a, oh, had a, he was tagged on Saturday. He was hard tagged. But after half time he got loose and uh, oh no he's uh, a very very going to be a very good player for Chelsea. So 
The and there wasn't much to talk about the second half because they just slaughtered us. I mean, they, kicked, us they kicked 9 13, and we have kicked three goals. Hmm. And last week we kicked one. What was the, so we improved in a bit. What was the final score? Final score was. Got here. I've got it here. I've got yeah. it here. I'll go. I'm going to get this in. Fetso. <laughs> Your final fans. score was 5 2 Chelsea to 14 20. Mm. 34 shots to 7. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we've got something to say about the second half. Tell us now. Yeah, well, Daniel, as I said before, Daniel Arton was tagged in the first, first time he's been tagged. A little bit quiet, but in the second half he got loose and uh, probably had about uh, between 10 and 15 possession in the second half. Mm. Uh, Cody Garner was a little mark. Look, he, he, keep, he come off the ground a couple of times. This will tell you something that's in the change later too, but Toddy, Car Toddy Garner got whacked. He come off the ground and he was throwing up. Wow. Oh, uh, right in front of me. I said, you're right. It sort of half knocked him out and he went back on because he, he's just a warrior. He just keeps, keeps um, getting up and bashed him. But Matty Smith, he is one of the best goal kicks I've seen around for a long time. He kicked two goals on the far end. Right on the bend, wrong side yeah. of his wrong foot. Two goals. These are and took three or four brilliant marks. Bit of a highlights package here, Barry. Oh, he, he's a. But for some, wasn't too much good coming out of that game. But it, it, he is. He, him and Matty Bax, they kicked the score. Hmm. Yeah. Two two's gone a bit quiet. Two two played all right. No, I've okay. got to mention him. Yeah, he's playing right. He's been playing all, all day. Two two. He's he's putting in. I mean, they they got his. I don't know why they're knocking. Well, I suppose knocking. Two, two, you can play, mate. Keep it up. Keep smashing in packs. Give us a list of goalkeepers, though. Well, there's only three. Matty Smith, the two Matties. Last week, the two Matties kicked three goals each. Yeah. And this week, two Matties kicked two goals each. Huh. And Daniel Arzen kicked one of the goals a day. Sounds like they're lacking a uh, full forward at the moment. Well, there's no one up there. But, uh, I mean, Joel Connolly, I mean, they put him at full back. He's never played in the back. I said to Snake, I said, what are you doing? He's never played in the full back. I never played in the back line, let alone the full back. And you got, you got, you got Hudson Thomas, who never, it's he had a very ordinary day, Hudson. He mm. just can't, can't get in the game. We've got no one up there to take the big mark, and Joel Collie should be just full forward. He's not a full back. No. And that's he's, why I kick four goals on him. He's got too much flair. Give us the group of best players, Barry. The group of best players were Matty Smith, Toddy Gardner, Daniel Arsman, Tutu, J Jason Clark played a good game too. Mm. Luke Clark in the first half, Bradley Clark. Just a reasonably sort of a game from on, on the Saturday, the Sunday, bigger part, but the second half it come good. So that's about all for the best players. And vote one vote. One vote to Jason Clark. Two votes. Two votes to two two played a good game all day. And three votes. Three to votes. The little Marvel Toddy Gardner, a super superstar. Looks like he might be in front. So He's in front by about a lap. Um, any other highlights apart yeah, from Yeah, I that must tell you, yeah. the, the mark of the day was taken by number 48, Daniel Arsman, right in front of us. Just had a camera there. He's a good young player. Got up and stayed up there and took this mark. He's a freak, I'm telling you. Now he's going he's to get better every week. And him and Toddy Gardner, when Travis, Cray, when Travis Graham comes back with another couple of weeks, we'll have three of the best on rules in the comp. Yeah. For well, sure. That'd, that'd be good. We just need to... We've got to get five players. Five... Three big, see them fingers there, Chelsea fellas, three big fellas and two on balls, and we'll be all right next year. Mm, okay. If you want someone to give you a bit of advice about picking a player, I'll, I'll around, small fee. <laughs> Contact you via Barry well, Peatling. Well, we've got, we got to get some... BarryPeatling at gmail.com. Yeah, it's a very... <laughs> dot com. <laughs> so that's the highlights package for us. Yeah, that was the What about the interchange, Barry? I'm so glad you asked me about that, Colin. Yeah. The interchange has, has gone ridiculous. The first quarter was being going about two or three minutes and about two interchange. First three minutes. I mean, these fellas train all the year. Mm. If they can't run a full quarter, I was standing next to them, they stand next to wrong. I said, what's going on? It's three, about three minutes into the game. It's pulling these players off, chasing them. And the, some of the players, the most energy some of the players use is coming running off the ground column. I know. They generally across the other wing. Well, the time they get there, they're stuffed. But the interchange, you've got to slow down, Roy. Just give them a bit of time to get, if they kick a goal, they take them off. Let them stay on the ground while they got their confidence up and get. It's very annoying, Colin. I mean, the players, I know the players don't like it. Yeah, it's not, it's 
not really good, is but it? But I mean, most of these coaches in the other, the other fella, the EDS fella coach, he wasn't making much change at all. I mean, we're second, second last on the ladder, we can change every three minutes. We're trying to follow the Two two was coming off, on and off. I mean, leave him on. He's a big man. So, not happy with interchange. You've got to just slow down, Roy. Just give him, give him a chance to get get settled into the game and because Tony Garner, I mean, he, 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 he deserved to go up that time because he was thrown up. Yeah. But he got nearly knocked out. Yeah, I, I must agree with you. You've got to though. slow down and give these players the time to get out there. And, I mean, they've been training for a long time and it, it's not that they're not tired. It's just like they're watching too much of the AFL, Colin, because the AFL, they're, they're 100 miles faster. Yeah, and they got, it's a different game. Totally different. But they just want to, as I said last year, some of these coaches like to think that they're doing all these changes. It's, it's look, they're pretty clever. They're not. You got to get the players, let them, and then, when you kick a goal in the in this competition, it comes straight off. Hmm. Chelsea does. Let them stay on the ground and while their confidence is up and kick another two or three more goals. And anyway. Message to Chelsea from Barry. Interchange, slow it down. I mean, God, my. Not so many. Now, who are we playing next week? Not playing at all. Okay. Bye. But so, so what, what, what will you, will you I be doing? I might go down and watch Swan Beach. And, I don't know. They're only playing Super, don't they? I might go down. Yeah, have a look. Check it out. Otherwise, we'll have to work something out, talk about something else. But uh, yeah. I'd like to know what's going on. Why is this, why is this split round? We've had a Queen's birthday sp split round. I don't know. We've had an Easter split round. Oh, there's some things I just don't understand, Barry. This is one of them. Is this the uh, July split round, is it? The July split round. July special. Yeah. Midnight special. Someone tell me what's going on. Why is it split round? Does anyone know? J Barry's very fired up today. He's very yeah, well, fired I'd up. Yeah, get it out of my system. And they're, they're going to decide on coaches in the next... Tonight. Well, there's something about... They're going to have a meeting tonight, but we'll have to find out Stay next tuned. Week. We'll be talking about that next week. Well, I don't know whether they sort of give that out to the public or not, but... Uh, mm. yeah, so well, we'll Roland find Clark, we'll my speak mate, to our my people. mate yes. who was the father of the three sons, Jason... Luke and Brad, he was telling me some sort of meeting. But anyway, but uh, okay. we'll find out about that down the track. But uh, the newsbreaker, Barry Peter. Very, it's been a very disappointing season at the moment for Chelsea. Oh, right. I mean, the, I know the injuries have knocked us around a bit, but I don't know. We're just not gelling and not uh, not running out the games. The last, because mm. I've said the last few weeks, half to half time, we uh, we go right the first half. Yeah, second half. Say later. Later. We need to work on that. So it might, something might work out in the future, hopefully. Chelsea supporters, keep on. Any Cheerios, Barry? Cheerios, yes. PH, I got a phone call from last week. PH, Shandy and uh, Carlos, they're, uh, they're going right up there. And uh, of course, uh, Annie, they're having a big, another big party this weekend. One of, the, one of her cousins going back to uh, Sydney and it's over a two day party. Two Crazy. day party. You just party every week, I report on parties in the And uh, of course, Carlos, she's. She's the second top of the class, Annie's daughter, Silver Princess. And Lloyd, uh, it's, it's her daughter is the one that's going back to Sydney. She's the one that uh, brings all the food and buys them everything. And that's Lloyd's daughter. She's a superstar. I made a comment on Facebook. She's, she's a very generous woman. Ah. Sends all the parcels of food every year, twice a year. And very good. Very well, very well done, Layla. I'll send a thing on the Facebook about you, so read that and champion woman she is. But apart from that, Colin, that's about all for me today. And that's goodbye from me. See you next week. See ya. You just got to keep working at it, Tops. I'm not going to get up here and just fucking bang shit out here because I thought your effort was there. Your heart was there. You tried as hard as you could. But we've got to play smarter. Get your fitness up, get your fitness down the up, and then you've got to play smarter. The ball down the borderline, fuck the rebound down there, was just hideous. And we're trying, we're, we're throwing bikes around, we're, getting, we're changing up the targets, we're changing the smalls, we're changing the tools. But at some stage or another, I mean, maybe it's my fault, I think we've got to work on all of our forward entries. We have a plan, we just didn't have any system today. Let me be call. Just fucking blazing away. Two fucking little rules down there, we'll just keep us straight back to them. Yeah. You just got to lower your eyes, you gotta fucking, you got to trust in the, in the style of play we're trying to put into you guys. And I know, and I know, it's pretty fair call that they've said they're playing.
might have given Sal one to get out. And they're fairly, fairly well skilled, well drilled. Uh, the last thing we can do, the worst thing we can do now is drop off notes. We're going to fucking play this season now. There's no question about it. Now, during the week, we're sleeping out. I think mean, we're all brought up the question. Should we keep, should we keep doing the running? Fucking own it, mate. Fucking own it. Just keep doing it. Just keep coming. Keep fucking getting the work in. Just keep learning, fellas. It's another game under your belt. We've got two or three more games coming up. I don't, I don't come in any game thinking that we can't win. I wake up this morning thinking that we could win. And I'm sure you both did too. Boys, it's going to be good for you if we win a couple of games on the way home. We need a couple of wins on the way home. But like I said, just keep coming to train. I'll change training up. I'll try and fucking get a bit more system in the way that we're, we're doing things. So it's more structured on game day. But I need you guys to get a buy in. Have trust in each other. Okay, just those fuck, every little thing counted today, didn't it? Every little thing. You drop off for a second, your man pisses off on you, next minute they've got a free. You drop your head after a goal, they get the next goal. You play a little bit beyond your man, they get that fucking yard in front of you, and their skills are up, they cut you to pieces. Make it hurt, fellas. Make it hurt. Get dirty on yourself. Make sure you come down Tuesday and we'll fucking train hard. Let's train smarter. I'm not believing you, fellas. I know you're just bitter. I know you're I know you might be a couple of players short. But don't make that an excuse for fucking little incidental things that we can't get right. 